Hey everybody, I've got a really cool and unusual rebind to show you. This is a project that I uh, spent a lot of time, time on <clears throat> that uh, I really, really enjoyed doing. And, um, and it's for a friend of mine on Facebook who contacted me and uh, she had told me she really wants something that she can pass down to her kids and, and it would be a really special kind of uh, Bible. So this is a Cambridge New King James uh, wide margin Bible hardback. And basically what we did, we did a leather wrap around the hardback and reattached it to the book block. So in doing this cover, uh, we had to get the, re the right red leather which we, we use this red lambskin, and you can see it's a really fine grain, really soft lambskin. And uh, I put seven raised ribs on the spine, and you can see that uh, it's just so soft. Even when I tooled around the ribs, it you could see it, it kind of put a couple of little dings right there, but it's, it's nothing that's uncommon. Uh, for a rebind but uh it, it really looks nice and neat you can see the yap the little semi yap hanging over and um around that hard cover and uh let me open it up and you can kind of take a look at the inside this is a brown lambskin so we have a, a red outer and a and a brown inner both lambskin and that that wraps that uh, original hardcover and uh, did a gold gilt line around the perimeter all the way around um, and uh, you can see the corners it's just a small yap so I didn't want to go crazy with the corners and uh, I just want to make sure they're I try to make them as as neat as I could just so it, would, it wouldn't be uh, you know it would just look clean and neat and uh, I picked out these uh, kind of a classical. Uh, I'm trying to think of the the type uh, art. Anyway, it's like an old older school, but like a really classical design uh, to kind of tie in the color with the gold and uh, you know the white of the the pages. And because uh, there's so much red with the red cover, um, and we also did the the red page edges did the red page edges uh edges died and uh so uh the end sheets i just wanted to keep a uh, nice clean um gold i had originally had solid gold and it was just a tad overwhelming with the amount of gold so i thought that this would do a little bit better would look a little bit better and as you can see i'll, I'll just kind of go through this because I, I haven't done a hardback review, so we might as well kind of go through it real quick. It's pretty simple. Uh, if you've seen the other uh, Cambridge Wide Margin reviews, it's very similar. These are printed in the Netherlands, uh, same as same as the goat skin editions. Um, and uh, you know, this is. Uh, just really great paper, same as the goat skin and calf skin and all those additions. So you're really getting a good buy. Uh, this and especially this hardback. Like I'm, if I wanted to hold it and write in it, sure, let's do that. I can do that all day long because it's a hardback. So there's a lot of advantages to having a hardback. And as uh, we discussed, that's when we decided on just just doing a hardback wrapped in leather which seems like it might be a little more functional than than like a goat skin edition would be so uh anyway the other things we did uh, i reinforced the text block and uh as you can see the the red page edges and did the three gold ribbons i used the original head and tail bands because they they still had that gold striping which looked really good with the gold ribbons so i decided to leave those alone and um <clears throat> so we'll kind of get back here to the back side you can see the same in sheets 
Um, it just has a really good symmetrical look. I like it. And, and I kind of try to do like a, a worn maker's mark. So I, I did a red stamped Trinity Knot and my initials, which might look a little, um, you know, second. I don't know. It might not look as professional as most people would like. But I don't really know what else to do as far as a maker's mark. And I figure a, a personal, you know, handwritten initials at least would make it my own and um and it would set it apart not that this wouldn't be set apart regardless being a hardback full leather wrap uh with with a semi yap you know you just don't, if you do have a full leather uh full leather wrap it's going to have the it's going to be wrapped around the hardcover and you won't usually have the app that's what kind of makes this so unique let me pull it over here so you can kind of see how it sets. And this lambskin is so soft. You see it doesn't even want to slide down the podium. Like you can, it wants to kind of stay wherever you put it. And this podium's on a pretty decent slant. So, uh, so you can kind of see how, how it looks laid out. The, uh, the gilt line is pretty symmetrical once it's opened. Now when it's closed, that edge kind of covers the gilt line. A little bit so when I did my measurements I, I did them with them open with the with the book open which I almost wish I'd have done it with it closed so you could see the gilt line better when when the uh, books closed you can see it good on the the top and bottom but anyway you live and learn I haven't been doing the gilt lines very long but I do like what it adds to this one uh, anyway that's kind of the rebind and uh, I know she's gonna be super happy with it uh, we've been messaging back and forth pictures and, and she's just really excited to when she can finally get this thing in her hands and uh, hold it. I, I do want to show show you something uh, that that uh, I knew about that I assumed that she had seen. Uh, but we, you know, it's just part of uh, doing custom rebinds. You're going to have this. You can see those imperfections in the leather on that back. Uh, where it appears that the animal was cut and it healed and it produced a, a few scars and uh, you know they had healed of course it's not cuts in the leather but um, but it's definitely indented there and and really you don't really notice it unless you put it in the light like this but um, but it's definitely I hate for it to come as a surprise and it kind of did to her uh, but she's very understanding and and uh, and and understands, you know. But I just wanted to show you guys that you know not all the leather that we use is going to be perfectly trimmed and and uh, perfectly split down to the right thicknesses all the time. So it's it's just part of having doing custom rebinds. You're going to have some imperfections in leather and whatnot. So anyway, I just wanted to show y'all guys that. I think that this. This spine turned out really good. Um, you know, it's just a sharp, those ribs are just sharp and they're perfectly spaced for holding it. And uh, and this this red lambskin is just so soft. Uh, I just really look forward to her getting it and using it and enjoying it and uh, and whatnot. So anyway, guys, that's, uh, that's that uh, Cambridge hardback wide margin uh, rebound in a, with a semi-yap. Uh, also in a couple of days, we're going to have the, uh, the maze, uh, Bible giveaway, which is another rebind of mine. It's the, uh, it's just a small new Testament and Psalms, uh, RSV by Cokesbury. Uh, so to be eligible, just be a subscriber, comment on videos and, uh, your name gets in the hat. Also, if you share any of my videos, your name also gets in the hat again. So you'll be, have double the chances of winning if you share videos so thank you guys so much for watching and uh getting the word thank you guys that's why i do this so that people uh can just enjoy their time with the word and enjoy their time in the word uh a little bit more so thank you guys again and god bless